Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton. This is my YouTube channel, Dalton My World. And this video is basically going to be about what to do if your MacBook Pro does not start up. Okay? Now, I know this is a little bit off the beaten path of what I normally talk about. Nevertheless, um, give you a quick short story of what happened. My homegirl, Jamie Zebra 23 gave me a shout out and she let some of the people know that I have helped her with some of her tech problems. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a tech genius, so don't come up on my channel trying to show you smarter than me, okay? I'm not a tech genius or anything like that. I had worked for Apple off and on for about almost four years. That was a little while back. So I had to, I'm a little rusty, <laughs> but hopefully the information that I have acquired will help you. Okay. And this is what we need to do. All right. And also if, if you find this video helpful, I ask you to give me a thumbs up and I ask you to share it with anyone else that may have this problem. All right. Now, little disclaimer, I'm not tech support. I'm not a tech genius. Okay. Uh, just letting you know, I'm doing my best to help you. Okay. Now, here we go. Now you got your Mac and it won't turn on, right? Cool. Okay. So we got to make sure that Mac is turned off. So obviously it's turned off. It won't turn on. And basically if you don't know what that means, that means that there's no sound or lights. I have my instructions here, so I'm reading them. All right. Now, what you do, you press and hold the following keys on your keyboard. This is for MacBook Pro. I mean, this is for MacBooks. This is not for Mac. Mac has a different way of you have to do things. Okay. And you can easily find that out by going to the Apple uh, support forms or even Googling my Mac, my desktop Mac won't, won't turn on. Okay. Now what I was saying is you press and hold the following keys together. Okay. On your built in keyboard. All right. Listen closely. You're going to press the control on your left side. You're going to Press the option or alt a l t button on the left side, and then you're gonna do us all at the same time, and you're gonna press the shift on the right side. It's important you do it in that way, okay? Then once you do that, you're gonna hold that down for about I guess mm -hmm, seven seconds okay do not relieve the do not relieve release those keys hold them for seven seconds then this is going to be a little difficult but so i will practice this before doing it then while holding those three keys you you press and hold the power button okay so total you're holding four keys now okay you press and hold the power button now you're going to hold that all four keys for about seven more seconds. Okay. Then after that seven seconds, you release them all. Take your hands off of all those keys. Okay. You wait five to ten seconds, not touching anything because your hands are off the keys now. Then you're going to press the power button and it should turn on. Okay. This is one way to do it. Now, also, I'm going to tell you in advance, and that's how you do it, but I'm going to tell you in advance. I know that some people are dyslexic, okay, and they have a hard time reading and instructions. So, what I did, I searched and I found two awesome videos on YouTube to show you how to do it too. And, I, and it shows you other ways to work on your macbook pro okay 
I'm going to put those in the description box below, both those videos. In addition, I'm going to give you a link to the Apple support form. Now what that is, what the Apple support form is, it helps you. They're Apple fanatics. Okay. I used to be on there once in a while. Uh, and they love all aspects of Apple, Apple iPhones, Apple MacBooks, Mac, you know, uh, Mac desktops, the whole nine yards. They love them all old and new. Okay. And they will try to help you for free. Okay. So I ask you to show them some respect, but they will have try to help you fix your, uh, device, whether it's the iPhone a MacBook, whatever it may be. And they're really, really cool people over there. I used to work for Apple. I would use the form. We communicate. I lost in touch with a lot of them, but I communicate with them. Just be respectful to them and they'll be respectful to you. Okay. Now I'm going to put that link also. All right. And I'm going to put the links that I found to show you how to do what I just told you. Okay, so hopefully with all that, you can get your MacBook Pro up and running, okay, without having to call support or take it to the store. Now, understand, I'm also going to show you Apple support phone number, okay? It's, it's going to be listed, okay? I don't know if I already did it or if I'm going to do it later, but it will be on this video. Now, the Apple support number, I will show you that. And with that Apple support number, you can call them. Now I'm gonna tell you ahead of time, you know, me I always keep it real on my channel. Sometimes they charge you and sometimes they don't. But they do not charge you for general inquiries right now, because I called and found out. Okay. And they and if you got a brand new Apple device, you get 90 days of support that comes with that brand new Apple device automatically for free. Okay, if you don't have brand new Apple of a device, it doesn't cost you anything to call and find out if them helping you is going to cost anything. Okay, because there's times that Apple doesn't charge anything, and then there's other times because when I worked with them, it was set up to charge people, but we didn't because they can switch anytime they feel like it for whatever purpose. I'm just letting you know. Okay. So I'll give you that number too. So hopefully with all this information, you can go ahead and get your MacBook Pro or your MacBook, whatever model it is, up and running. So it can get you back to productivity. And I can tell you from experience, Apple, I worked, like I said, I worked with them. Apple takes pride in the hardware. And a lot of times it's not the hardware unless you do something crazy. Like drop your MacBook in a deep pool or something. A lot of times it's not the hardware, it's some type of software or it's some app that people installed. I could, I, the worst, the worst I had to help people with was um, uh, Facebook Messenger. Oh, stuff from Facebook is it's written so bad that it just jam up machines all the time. Uh, and iPhones. Oh, Facebook Messenger is just, and so many people are trying to hack it. So, but anyway, also I would like to, I just want to make sure I say this too. Apple support come in many languages, including Spanish. So even if you don't speak Spanish and you call Apple support and you start talking Spanish, they'll tell you to hold on and they'll connect you with the Spanish support. Okay. So, this is very important. I wanted you to know that. All right. And if there's someone, if it does help you, I ask you to put in the comments briefly. Thanks. It helped, you know, and if other people want to put something that they know, do not, that may help other people, please do not write a whole book and put it on my, on, on my YouTube channel, make it brief something brief that can help them. Okay. No spammers. And then if you find out that someone else has written something on this particular video, 
that helps you, just say, you know, thanks to everybody. So that gives them a shout out too. All right. All right. <laughs> and hopefully this helps you. And I should wrap to you later. It's early in the morning and I got to go to work tomorrow. So peace.